if somebody was aware in the lax one or had in the lax one, my brother would still be here to this day. My daughter's mum, she'd still be here to this day. And plenty of other people as well. Eh? Gary has lost the two people closest to his heart to drugs. He now carries naloxone, which reverses the effects of an opioid overdose to save others from the same heartache. You never know when you're going to get, have to use it. Uh, I've used it once and it just so happened to be a boy that I basically grew up with, so that's a, that's a, good, that's a good thing to carry it because you never know. Eh? Firefighters in Scotland are now being offered the chance to carry naloxone too. One of the first to volunteer to take a kit is Group Commander Paul Blackwood, who knows only too well the devastation of drugs. My best friend at the age of 19 died from a drugs overdose, and that was from addiction to drugs from the age of 15. So that was a personal motivation for me to be able to save somebody's life with this critical medicine of naloxone. The First Minister and Drugs Minister Angela Constance were at a station in Bathgate today to see how the nasal spray works and how it, along with other measures, will help save lives. Trying to uh, speed up the access to treatment for uh, people who, who need uh, drugs treatment, the improvement and expansion of community services and obviously work around prevention, stopping people uh, using drugs in the first place. So there is a, a whole package of measures that are being taken. Yes, the whole point of this is to uh, see a reduction uh, and I want to see a significant reduction in the lives that are lost and wasted. 1,339 people died from drugs in 2020. Police officers trialling naloxone in three parts of Scotland have so far saved 53 lives. It's up to firefighters to decide whether to carry the treatment. But the Fire Brigade Union has previously criticised the move, saying the service is not a sticking plaster to deal with drug deaths. Lynn Rankin, STV News.